students let us continue with the data definition language commands sql commands so in that in the previous video i explained about the create command and the drop command now let us see uh, another command that is the alter command so what is the use of the alter command this alter command allows to alter or modify the structure whatever the structure that is present in the database so this alter command is used to modify or alter the structure of database and also adds additional columns if you want you can add the columns in the database also it drops existing column so already presented column can also you can also drop that existing column and even change data type of column so if you want you can change the data type of a column also suppose in the employee table you are having a uh, employee id and the employee name so some fields will be their age like that so if you want you can add extra column means suppose i want to add a phone number if you want you can add you, if you want you can delete drop the existing column i want to drop this column you can do and even you can change the data type of a column suppose previously i created this employee table with the column name the data type is the integer so integer means only the values you can enter like 1 2 3 0 3 or 0 5 0 so like that only the values are supposed to be entered in the employee id so now i want to change the data types to varchar so varchar means i can enter the numbers as well as a character also so now i i change the data type as a varchar so now i entered e001 employee e002 e003 means instead of numbers i can also add the characters also for employee id so here i am changing the change data type of columns also previously it is integer only integer values are to be entered 1 2 3 4 5 like that so now i change the data type as a varchar so that can be done by this alter command so by using the alter command you add additional columns or you drop the existing column or even you can change the data type of the column so that is the uses of this alter command now let us see the syntax first one alter table table name add column name data type so in this syntax what i am doing i am just adding the column name for particular table so in the table name in that particular table i am adding just a column name and the data type or you can also do alter table table name change old column name to new column name even you also change the column names names can also be changed so previously example of is e name so now i am changing is a uh, simply name like that so you can also change the old column name to new column name or alter table table name so for each command you have to end with a semicolon table name drop column column name so whatever that column you have to drop that column name you have to mention here semicolon so these are the syntaxes let us see the examples for this syntaxes so i'll take this employee table first one alter table employee so in employee table i want to add address field address column name and the data type that you want to be 
varkar 20 okay means here i am adding one more column here i am adding one more column like address so previously only employee id employee name age phone number is there now i want to add the another column address so whenever i return the uh, write the command like this alter table employee so this is the employee table so it adds the address varchar of 20 or else second alter table employee change phone number into contact number so this is a old name so old name is a phone name now i want to change to the new name as a contact number so uh, the phone name is uh, not looking good so i want to change this uh, name to phone instead of phone i'm changing it to contact number okay so here the phone number is changed to, to the contact number or alter table employee now drop column drop column now i want to drop the column suppose uh, age so already i deleted but i here it is there i want to delete it you can drop that age column which is already present only the presented column suppose you take alter table employee uh, employee table drop column employee name i want to drop the employee name so only with the identification number i can uh, call that person so alter table employee drop column name is uh, so don't write here the drop column employee name so this will be dropped so these are the different commands that are used in the uh, these are structures syntaxes for the alter command so one thing to view whatever you have changed in the uh, changes that are made in the table that is the alterations alters that you are doing in the table that you want to view to view the change structure of table so if you want to view the change structure of a table just use describe just use the describe command so with the help of the describe command you can view the changes that are made in the database table so example you have to just write describe table table name employee so whenever you have written like this so whatever the changes that are you done on the table so what changes i had done so in the previously i changed that uh, employee id as a varchar so employee id the data type uh, instead of integer only the varchar numbers i can enter so there i removed the uh, name name of an employee so no need to write here and the age is also not there and the phone number instead of phone number i had written a contact number and i add the address field there so something like that some values will be there so this is how whenever you have typed the describe table employee this table the alter table will be displayed so this is about the alter command now coming to the next command that is the fourth one is the rename so rename command is just the name itself is saying that you have to change the name of the table or a object whatever it may be rename it is used to reverse so, so sorry to rename not reverse to rename an object and database table so it is used to rename an object as well as the database table what is the syntax for this syntax just rename table old name old name to new name 
semicolon. So this is the syntax. So let example rename table. The old name is previously it is employee table. Old name is employee to new name is EMP. Instead of employee, I change the name of the table to EMP. So now this table name, the relational name is the employee. So this is the use of the rename command. And coming to the last uh, data definition language command, that is the truncate command. So the fifth one is truncate command. So what is the use of the truncate command? The main use of this truncate command is it is used to delete truncate means it is deleting it to delete all the rows that are present in the table all the rows from the table permanently the, the uh, this you have to be remember so truncate command is used to delete all the rows from the table permanently once you delete once you use a truncate command you can't undo that you cannot roll back that command okay this command is same as delete because delete is also used to uh, it is used as to delete the rows in the table but the only difference is the delete command can do the rollback this command is used as a delete command but truncate command does not generate any rollback data whereas delete can roll back if once you delete you can roll back just like a recycle bin suppose if you deleted the data that data is present in the recycle bin so if you want the data again back you can restore that there is an option but whenever you use the truncate you cannot suppose to roll back the data it is del it will delete permanently so whenever you, you are using the truncate command be careful so the data that uh, you don't want it permanently you don't want to see or you don't want to modify that you just use the truncate so syntax for this truncate command is truncate table table name example so now i am writing the truncate table employee so previously I changed the name, rename as employee table to EMP. So now I'm using truncate table EMP. So now whatever the table that is present in the database that will be deleted permanently. So this is about the data definition language commands. Thank you.